Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and behind me we have an expandable travel trailer that is the perfect size and weight for a half-ton truck. It is a 2021 Flagstaff Shamrock 235S. So why do we say that this is a perfect half-ton towable travel trailer? It's because of its size and its weight. So let's get to that right away. So the size, the overall length, 24 feet, 10 inches. The weight, the hitch weight is 738 pounds. And then the unloaded vehicle weight is 5,639 pounds. Now, can you tow this with an SUV? Yeah, but you'd be much more comfortable, you'd be much safer in a full-size half-ton vehicle is perfect for that. So I'm gonna go around the outside and show you exactly what we like about this. We really like this travel trailer a lot. Now this is what's called an expandable travel trailer. So why is it called an expandable travel trailer? Well, you have a slide on the driver's side, which comes out, but then you also have the expandable front and rear. It's gonna come out with a tent-like, like like a canvas, whatever, waterproof covering, where when you go inside, you'll actually be able to see how much more space that gives you sleeping space. So here's some of the features we really like, and we're gonna go from, I'll do the exterior, MJ will do the interior. Right up front, you have a Leopard powered tongue jack. Love that. Usually comes in the higher end travel trailers. You also have LED light. Behind this over here, it's going to be two 20 pound LP tanks. Now, 20 pounds, although they're less, they're very easy to swap. Those are the ones that you have in your barbecue. You can swap them out at a gas station, Walmart, whatever it may be, very easy to use. This is gonna be laminated walls, all fiberglass coach with aluminum skeleton, aluminum structure underneath. What's also nice about this unit and this series is that they use 5 8 inch plywood on the flooring. So we'll go over down the passenger side. You have your first door here. Good storage on a unit like this. You can see full pass-through storage, which is always a nice thing. And now continuing, you, you're wired for solar. So you have a connection that I don't know the specifics of how many amps it's wired for, but it, there is an option there. Now you have your Solera awning. You can see it goes down pretty much the whole side of the passenger. That's gonna give you some nice protection on your campsite. You're also gonna see you have integrated outdoor speakers. That's always awesome. And this also looks, this looks like this to hook up a television. If I, I'm pretty sure there will be, because you have your cable hookup right here. And then this looks like it's a mounting area for a television, which would make sense. It's right by the speakers. And you also have power outlets. I'm not moving too far ahead. This is a really nice area that I saw. So you have passenger side, full kitchen. Look how big that is. Big refrigerator. Now, mind you guys, this is a 24-foot trailer. Huge refrigerator. You also have cabinet. You have a light in here, which is nice, especially at night. Two GFI protected uh, outlets. And check this out. You got a grill. I'm sorry, you have double uh, stovetop heaters and you have the plumbing to go right to your quick connect to feed off your dual 20 pound propane tanks everything goes back nicely that's that's, awesome. that's so cool especially at this price point you're going to want to watch this whole video because at the end we're going to tell you what is the msrp on this you're going to be a little surprised and also these doors are, are heavy slam latch doors which are nice. This video is sponsored by Liquid Spring. If you're looking to upgrade the suspension of your Class A, B, C, or Super C motorhome, the very best is Liquid Spring. We have the four corner system on our motorhome and it is a game changer. And for you, the subscribers, you can save up to $750 off a new Liquid Spring system simply by using the discount code RIDE ENDLESSLY. If you have any questions about Liquid Spring or if you want to test drive a Liquid Spring equipped motorhome, contact Wayne Wells from Liquid Spring. His information will be below. And again, if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade, look no further than Liquid Spring. This is gonna be the exhaust for your Dometic refrigerator inside. Now over here, you're gonna have your fresh water fill. So this will fill up your tanks. And what are the tank sizes? I'm sure you're thinking that right now. So fresh water, 54 gallons, gray 30, black tank, is 30 and the awning is actually 18 feet in length for your exhaust fan that's inside frameless windows that is the newer thing that most rvs are going for you have your exhaust for your propane fired furnace which i believe is 35,000 btu what i like about this at this price point again goodyear endurance tires these are the better tires dual axles so it's going to give you a little more carrying capacity also it's going to be more stable you also have 14 inch aluminum alloy wheels. 
really nice. What it's included standard on here is a TST tire pressure monitoring system. It seems that more of the industry is going to standard tire pressure monitoring systems where they should be doing anyway. Opening up the door here, friction hinge door, awesome. And then you also have the more ride step above steps. Now this is a huge improvement for RVs. Normally when we had our trailer. Oh God, they remember the steps. Yeah, when we had our trailer just a couple of years ago, the standard is your cheapy steps. Now, this was standard on fifth wheels. Now this is coming more and more on travel trailers, which is great. Super easy to put out. We like that. Screen door. And it's a pretty heavy door. Then you have your collapsible catch handle. Now, what you do have on here are manual stabilizing jacks. Moving to the rear, you're seeing this fully opened, but moving to the rear, you have LED tail light. You're also going to see that you have the gutter extensions, which is always a good thing. So it allows the water to, to fall down to the side instead of dripping down the side of your coach, causing those black stains. You do have a spare tire. Always a good thing to have a spare tire. You have the sides are removable here for your stinky slinky. And you also have a hitch if you want to carry bikes or anything else that is not to tow a vehicle. Now toward the rear driver's side, there's a additional storage in the back here. A good amount of stuff you can fit in there. You also have your connection for your 30 amp. This is a 30 amp coach. And then I almost slipped there. <laughs> and then you have your cable hookup. This is going to be the input from the campground for your cable hookup, your fresh water tank. I'm sorry, there's your tank flush and then your fresh water tank, and then you have a separate inlet for the antifreeze. That's a little different than what I normally have seen, but that's how they do it. Continuing on the driver's side, you have an outdoor shower, both hot and cold. Always a nice thing if you have kids and pets because they tend to get dirty. Here is your hot water heater. I'm gonna assume this is at least six gallons, if not 10. In the comments below, let us know. You're also gonna have the poles for your gray and your black. Your, your sewer connection will be right here behind the tire on the driver's side. Now, continuing on the driver's side, you have a pretty decent size depth wise. This is a rack and pinion slide. These are the more reliable ones. This is actually deeper than our slide. This mm -hmm. is a big slide. Yep. Also a slide topper. This is something that you would almost never see on a travel trailer. Now they're coming with slide toppers and we're big fans of slide toppers. So to keep the debris off the top of that slide, keep water off, makes your life a lot easier. I feel like this is an option on here though. It might be, I but it, it's that. on this one. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, continue on the, on the driver's side, more windows, which you're gonna see how it opens up everything inside. We love the frameless windows. All around this slide box. So you have in the back of the slide box, the front, as well as this in, on the side of the slide box. And then this side here, this is gonna be the other side of that pasture storage that we showed you before the other side. So big storage. So we are wrapped up on the outside. I'm wrapped up. MJ is going to go on the inside. We're going to show you with it opened up inside. And there's a lot of room in there for a pretty decent sized family. And if you're enjoying the video so far, we invite you to hit the subscribe button below. Click that notification bell so you get notified when our new videos come out. And if you like dogs, feel free to check out our channel Pitbull Adventures of Sierra and Bowser. We're going to link that above and feel free to subscribe to that as well. Would you like to join me inside? Come on in. I'm going to start over here. All right. So as Izzy said, on both sides, you have these beds. These are actually heated mattresses. So when it does start to get a little chilly out there in wherever you are in the fall or whatever, that's a nice, a nice little perk. In here, you have a hookup for TV and you also have a couple outlets and some netting to keep stuff. Coming out of that, you have a couple outlets right next to the bed. All right, here's your cooling and heating system. This is wired for solar. You also have storage space up top too. And this goes down pretty far so you can hold a lot of items in there. All right, moving on into the bathroom. This is a decent sized bathroom. I also love the colors, the light colors. Okay, so you have a nice large cabinet in here, pantry closet. Here's your fan. The shower, as you can see, you have the shower miser in there. So that's pretty cool. It's gonna help save you some water. Yeah, let me let get you know in when here. it gets hot. Not huge, but again, it's it's okay, and it's pretty tall too. All right, so moving on down the kitchen. First thing I actually want to mention is they have, if you look here, you can control 
different things with an app, your awnings, your slides, your lights, just by scanning this barcode. That's pretty cool. I mm -hmm. have that on ours. Well, that we do control certain things. All right, into the kitchen area, you have a residential style faucet. You have a double sink. It's a large sink for a travel yeah, trailer. Yeah, it's nice. You have a nice big window looking out. You have a three burner cooktop, which is really that cool. That light will go on if you flip it. It's flush mount, that's nice. The, wait, what? Oh, that light, yeah. And then your oven, decent size oven. Got a ton of cabinet space in here. There's your sponge area. Ooh, somebody asked about that once. This one does give you the silverware drawer. So a number of cabinets there, and then way more space. Goes pretty far back. And then you have above the sink, more space located right next to your microwave, which is small, but you know, again, you can cook you dinner in there. in there. Yep. All right, now moving along. Really nice size pantry closet with hooks. Not quite sure. I mean, these you can remove these. I mean, you're not hanging coats there. That's yeah. for sure. Hats probably. Yeah, but that's that's a nice size. All right, here's your dinette area. As Izzy had mentioned outside, you do you're gonna get a lot of natural light in here. You can also, again, with those bed areas, unzip and get even more more and all the bugs. The more like yeah, if you don't care, but you know. If you're you're getting this, you're not worried about being outside, you know. Here you go. You have storage underneath your dinette. Okay, you have um, pleated shades all around. Okay, I like the valances, these are nice. Okay, so this is obviously the slide area that Izzy showed you outside. We'll keep moving down. You have a, your couch here, which does open up to a trifold. Storage up here, you, I like this little touch. Underneath the storage, you have some reading lamps, which are blue, I like that. If you hold, they go white, so that's pretty cool. And then moving along, it is hot in here. It's getting hot. Ooh, okay. Here's your other bed. So you're sleeping a minimum of six people in here. I mean, if you have a, if you have a lot of small kids, you know, like who was that family that had 18 kids or the Dugans? The Dugans. The, yeah. Man, they, they could squeeze them all in here. Didn't some of them uh, get arrested? I don't know. Did they? <laughs> I don't know. Here's more netting storage up here. And underneath the bed, as well as you did on the other side, a ton, a hard storage, a there. ton of storage this underneath. Is actually, I think, you could fit like containers of. That's actually the storage for where I showed the underneath. Yeah. yeah, and over here you can see you have USBs and some outlets there. So over here, here's your speakers, your radio, your TV, perfectly placed in front of the couch, and some storage located right above a beautiful fireplace. Not all of the models have fireplaces, but this one does. Very nice touch. I love. It good fireplace. Did you show them the storage behind the TV? Here's your other fan. No, but we're going to do that now. Check this out. How cool is that? You get our stuff you could fit in there? You could fit a lot. Well, maybe just your shoes. I could fit. What are you talking about? I am not a typical woman that carries a ton of shoes. And I shouldn't say because there's typical men. We have people that we know the men have tons of shoes. I only use a couple pairs, sneakers and whatnot. Stop blaming. All right. And then we have Coming around on the other side, there's some more storage for your kitchen. So you really actually, well, there's two closets for the uh, for the kitchen. This is more of a food pantry. You know what I and noticed then here? down below too. Just looking. Uh, the vinyl floor also is a really nice, I like the color. I also noticed right here, the ducks are not on the floor. So if you have pets, you won't get hair in yes, them. Yes, yes, right. All right, moving down to the fridge. Nice size RV fridge, so electric or propane. This is a lot of drawer space on the side. It's a Dometic. So this is a really nice, I think, choice for a moderately affordable trailer, which I'll get to the MSRP in a minute, but you have a ton of space on here, length and width, and it's very usable when you're, uh, when the slide is in as well. So that's, it's really, really cool in terms of space. Now, MSRP, probably wondering what it is. The MSRP is $38,206. If you are interested in this or something similar, contact Myers RV. We're again at the one in Branchville, New Jersey, but there are eight total locations, so you can reach out to them. And from Izzy and myself, we thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the road.